Hey everybody, welcome back to another Got Tech tutorial. This is an EdTech tool that I'm very excited about. It's made by the same people that made Moat, which is one of my favorite feedback tools. This tool is called Conquer.ai. Conquer.ai allows you to ask a simple question and create a quiz based on that simple question or topic. Now, I will tell you this, I'm very excited that this tool is connected with Google Forms. It makes it so easy to make a formative assessment, maybe at the beginning or end of class as a do now or an exit slip ticket. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the page that you come to after you uh, go into your conquer.ai account. All right, so I just put in here, or I filled in the blanks, create a quiz with five questions for grade nine students about photosynthesis. From there, I'm just going to hit generate and see what it comes up with. All right, so what it's going to do is it's going to kind of go through all of its databases and online, and it's going to look for possible questions that might fit this process or whatever I asked it. It's also going to give you the answers uh, to the questions. So if we take a look here, what is photosynthesis? It gives us four options, it gives us the answer. I could go through these. This is can just be a starting point. Uh, I just want to point that out because when we get over to Google Forms, uh, we can edit any of these questions in there. So I like these five. These five are good. I'm going to go ahead and export to a Google Form. Now, the first time you do this, you're going to have to allow it to connect your account uh, to your Google uh, account, which I have already done. You'll have to do that. From there, we can open the quiz in Google Forms. So here it is. I can drag and drop. I can manipulate this in any way that I want. I could change the form or the question type uh, there. I could add any directions, but this is very, very easy. It already has it set up as a in quiz format here. So everything's worth one point. I could go make any modifications that I want. And then I could just uh, hit the send button and send it out to my class. So this was a very, very simple uh, tutorial on Conquer, uh, and I'm very excited to try this out in my classroom. I hope this helped, and I hope you find a way to use Conquer in your classroom.